Humble yourselves, therefore, says the scripture, under the mighty hand of God. See the kind of people who are being used by God in these days, and you will discover that, well, they're just nothing people. Remember the great virtuoso Paganini? He was playing before a London audience one day. The crowd had waited a long time and paid a lot of money for their seats. And as he was playing, one of the strings broke. And then a second one broke. And then a third one. And the crowd became a little upset, you know. He called for silence. And then he said, ladies and gentlemen, one string and Paganini. And he began to play a melody soft and low and the crowd was enthralled. Paganini and this one string. Now, you may be close to nothing and you may not think much of yourself, but God says I take the people who are close to nothing because they have such a short way to go before I can use them. See, if you're way up here, it takes such a long time to get you down there where I can use you. And you will discover as you study the Word of God that everyone who was ever used by God always had a nothing experience. Moses, I want you to go and speak to Pharaoh, Moses. said, Lord, I can't do that. The Lord said, that's why I chose you. That's just the point, Moses, you can't. I'm going to do it through you. And I am will send you. Gideon, Lord, I'm a farm boy, I'm not a soldier, I can't do that. That's right, Gideon, you see, it's the sword of the Lord. End of Gideon. Jeremiah says, Lord, you don't know me. And the Lord said, I sure do, Jeremiah, because I put you together. I know all your parts. I know what you can do and what you can't do. We come to the conclusion, as the Lord Jesus said, without me, nothing. But the other side of the coin is, I can do all things through Christ, who, who strengthens me. This is the great basis of the nothing truth of the Word of God. That if I wish to be used of God, I ought not to think more highly of myself than I ought to think. But if we're willing to spend time in God's presence and view His awesomeness, His greatness, His infinitude, then we come to see what kind of people we really are in His eyes. At the same time, when He teaches us that we are just clay pots, He also reminds us that we have a treasure in the clay pot. And that's why Paul says now, I want you to understand that God uses nothing people to do something, to bring the things that are something to nothing. We'll just let Him live His life through us, that the glory might belong to Him.